Hi everyone, how we doing today? I am doing just completely wonderfully. I had such a good morning and afternoon. Um, my wife and some friends and I, we went to the kind of like little Japan portion of town, I guess. Um, and we got, let's see, I got a hojicha latte, which I had never tried before. It was kind of weird. Um, what's up, Brody? Hello, welcome back. Uh, let's see, I got some matcha melon bread. We went to this Pokemon store, which was super cool. And I got me some cards. I got me a little Smeargle. Look at him. He's gonna paint. It's lovely. Um, and there was like an anime store in this mall as well. It's a really cool little place where a lot of like nerds can go, which I appreciate. And I got like a little blind box thing. And for any of my Attack on Titan fans, I have me just a little baby Mikasa. I don't know if she's focusing, but it's wonderful. Um, had such a great time. And then we went back and we got some uh, teriyaki chicken and some gyoza. Mmm, it was great. We had such a good time. Um, but anyway, I'm here. Uh, we are streaming Emerald. We are going for our last symbol. We're going to go for our last symbol today. Like, this very well could be our last episode of Emerald. Um, or our last episode of the Battle Frontier, anyway. But let's have a look-see. Look at these symbols. We have the ability symbol, the spirits symbol, newly acquired from the Battle Palace, the knowledge symbol, our first, the luck symbol, the gut symbol, and the tactics symbol. Very, very happy about this. Um, so now we really just have two more trips through the Battle Pyramid. And this could be tough. Um, and again, I'm taking my items off of my Pokemon. Um, oh, what did the old man do? Uh, the old man, he defeated us, but he did not just defeat us. He, uh, he rubbed it in. He was rude. Um, and he earned everything that he got. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and now... We are here in the Battle Pyramid. We are going to save our game because I have anxiety. Um, and right now, we really just need to go through the Pyramid two more times. At the end of the second time, we will be able to face the Frontier Brain, which I'm very excited about. So one thing that I am interested in here is if our bag carries over. I don't remember if the bag that we have la that we had last time will carry over into this challenge. Hmm. It says that we used it that we used it previously. So let's see if this bag has the leftover items that we had from the last challenge and it does. Okay, that is really great. A Lumberry is good to have. I really wish I would have saved our Ether, um, but that's okay. I'm still happy to have all these items. It is really good to know that between each time you challenge the Battle Pyramid, your items will carry over in your battle bag. That is very cool. Um, all right, so we're gonna give this Shell Bell to somebody. I'm gonna give it to Arrow, because he holds our leftovers usually. Uh, we still have a couple fluffy tails. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is very true, Brody. Um, yeah, but you can... Oop, all right, we have a battle immediately. But yeah, you can still check all those out, and I encourage you to. There were some really great uh, battles. I'm going to try a surf here. Yeah, one because he used protect. Oh, buddy. And I want to hold on to some of those psychics in a surf. Yeah, surf still does it. It's clear that Mr. Kenneth here was really just trying to waste our power points, and he was successful. He wasted three of our surfs. 
Um, so yeah, like I said, my day was absolutely wonderful. One of my favorite days in a while. Um, so this is something I will mention. We just ran into a gulp in there. And every time that you go through the Battle Pyramid, last time all of the wild Pokemon were trying to paralyze us. And it looks like this time all of the Pokemon, all of the wild Pokemon that we see, are probably going to try to poison us. As you can see, we have another gulp in here. Um, and every time you go through, it's kind of like there's a themed status. So last time it was paralysis. This time it's probably going to be poison. And then next time it might be burn or something or sleep. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Old man final boss. Hey, it is true. And I'm going to use a precious psychic here just to give us a little more light. Um, proved useful right there anyway. Got us another revive. I love to see that. Uh, and there's that Pecha Berry. That Pecha Berry is going to be great because it is going to heal that, po that poison status should we be unlucky enough to get it, which we might be here. Not quite. There we go. And again, that thing should never be able to keep a Starmie from running away 13 levels higher, but that's just the way the Battle Pyramid functions sometimes. And finding these blue tiles can be just brutal. They can be brutal. <laughs> I'm really hoping that we can find another Ether. Ooh, Viper. What are we in the Battle Pike? Um... Well, I'm finding every item, so that's nice. Okay, good, great. Yeah, there's a lot of stumbling around in the dark. What I wouldn't do for a repel, I don't even know if you can, and there's the toxic. Um, I don't even know if you can, oh my goodness. I don't know if you can get a repel. I'll do a similar strategy as I did last time. Um, I'll use one of our Pecha Berries. I'd like to sell that, because I'm never going to use that. Okay. There it is. Oh, wow, that was so close to where we started. <laughs> that was so close to where we started. We did get a lot of items, though, which is great. Yes, yeah, Starmie. Not Starmie. <laughs> Skarmory, one of my favorite Pokemon. But this guy's 100% going to try to poison us, so I hope this can kill, and it didn't. So I am kind of messing up a little bit here. At least we have that shell bell. And now each step is potentially lethal. It is nice that we cannot be poisoned again. Um, so that could be a strategy moving forward for us. And we do have our shell bell on our salamence there. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, great. Any items? No. All right. So Brody, how have you been, my friend? My strategy here is that we only have one Petra Berry remaining to heal our poison. But, ooh, fight. Um, but we do have plenty of Hyper Potions. So my strategy here is to, I think a Flamethrower should do us. Uh, my flamethrower is... My flamethrower. <laughs> my strategy is to just kind of keep this poison on arrow, and if we need to use a hyper potion on arrow, we can. Um, it's great to have another Petra Berry. 
And we can heal a little bit on wild Pokemon with the Shell Bell. So I'm not too stressed about this. Not yet, anyway. Because things are going to get a little more challenging as we go. Hitting another trainer. Um, I know, I was getting bullied by an old man. It's true. But, uh... The bad man can't hurt us anymore. Oh my goodness. Iron defense. It must have a lax incense. Good thing we have that special attack um, flamethrower. Looks like it has one HP left. There we go. And we get one HP back. A full restore. That's excellent. Um, and right before the next... Oh, wow. We spawned in the corner. That's hilarious. Um, all right. Do, do, bop, do, da, bop, bop, ba, da, bop. And we'll just get that earthquake going. There we go. If I can get an easy one shot, I'll take it, generally, to get a little more light and a little more HP with the shell bell. Because remember, the Shell Bell doesn't heal us... Oh, crap. I even saw it coming. The Shell Bell doesn't heal us every turn. Oops, I just hit my desk. Um, it doesn't heal us every turn like the leftovers do. It only heals us if we are... Um, dealing damage. Um, the switch into Starmie is a little bit risky. actually going to swap out because that is not going to help us anyway. Politoed could have a nice move, so we'll swap into Stevie. Um, will we be slower is the question, and we are faster. Metagross is surprisingly fast, actually. We'll go back into Starmie. Starmie will definitely be faster. That's okay. I would have loved to have, like, Calm Mind or something to set up on that turn, but that's all right. Yes, Ice Beam is great. Hello, Lunaxis! How's it going? Good to see you. All right. So right now, Starmie is looking a little sorry. We do have several hypers. I'll use a hyper here. There we go. And having a max revive is absolutely incredible. Um, there's that viper again. Ooh, and that's only level 33. I think an aerial ace might be able to do it here. There we go. Perfect. That's wonderful. All right, so that would be a double battle. I believe I'm on the third floor. Or third or fourth. Another Pecha Berry rocks. Oh, an ether, but the bag is full. Okay. So it looks like in the Battle Pyramid, you can only hold a certain amount of items way less than you normally can. So we can't really hoard our items. So in this case, I'm definitely going to toss this Dire Hit. I'm really not likely to use that. But having an Aether is going to be crazy helpful for us. Um... Oh, you forgot your wallet at work. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Um, all right, so now we're going to use this Petcha Berry. Um, there are some options here to let a Pokemon of ours hold some of these. Um, I think I might do that. I will give Salamence... Oh, wait, no, he's holding the Shell Belly. Yes. I'll give... Ugh, that's really annoying. Okay, so I'll give one to Harry, and I will give one to Metagross. I see what we'll do now. Forgive me, I'm doing some sloppy item management. 
So I'll take that shell bell. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's okay. The music here is so interesting. All right. Yes, just keep giving us items that we already have so we can keep stacking those. Um, I think I'm gonna just fight this double battle. Yeah, we'll be fine. Um, oh, he has a white herb. Um, okay, here we're going to Aerial Ace, and an Ice Beam should take out a Shell Gun, but it looks like he's going to try to stall us here. I knew without a shadow of a doubt when I saw Secret Power that it was going to paralyze us. I'm sorry you forgot your wallet at work. That is crazy. And annoying. Oh yeah, just go ahead and paralyze both of us, why don't you? Okay, good. One thing I do need to remember with Harry is that we do have the gorgeous uh, natural cure ability. Um, I have plenty of cherry berries. Let's use one of those on Arrow. And there we go. Oh my goodness. So many flipping trainers. Um, uh, I kind of didn't want to do a double battle there. Um, <laughs> you'll be back Monday. Hey, that's true. It's not like you're not going back. Um, hey, man, I, I appreciate that. I really, really do enjoy the game. Um, I just, as I always say, I try to... Try to spread the joy, man. Spread the joy. Aerial Ace there is going to be lovely. We can just try to surf. That is fine. Alrighty. So we're going to be in good shape. Uh, oh, nope. Not an earthquake. Not time for an earthquake. Because that would kill our Starmie. Even though we are in a pretty good position, uh, we have a lot of revives. Um, perfecto. Alright, I came from that direction. Um... So our item management is going to be key here. Um, Cause I don't want to have to waste items by throwing them away. Um, that Lepa Berry is actually quite nice because that's going to help us restore the power points, which is why I want to keep that ether as well. Um, but the fluffy tails are really the ones, the fluffy tails and the Pecha Berries perhaps are probably going to be our most, what's the word, expendable items this time through. Um, because again, the wild Pokemon will be less focused on poison um, the next time through. It's not like there isn't a possibility of poison, but... I'm going to toss this dire hit again. Perfect. Oh, wait, no. That just puts me in the same position I was in. It's okay. I'll try not to sweat it too terribly much. That is where I began. Also... You are going to watch me be like, what is this guy doing? He already went this way. Okay, there we go. 
another Skarmory. Here a Flamethrower should do the trick. I actually, a part of me feels like you should be able to have more items the more you run through the pyramid. Here we're on level six. Um, and here it looks like things might start to get a little more hairy. Say, use rain dance all you want. Oh, I hate these little guys. Ooh, a choice band. Because we have two Pecha Berries sitting on our Pokemon right now. So what the Choice Band does is it raises a move's power, but permits only that move. I don't know that I love that, but I like having the option of it. We'll see if we use that. I, I really don't like being locked into one move, so I don't know if that's really going to be the, the item for us. We'll see. That is an item I could see us tossing, and I would be okay with that. Wow, that is some open space that you don't usually see in one of these floors. Oh, Gengar, look at this guy. I actually don't remember if Gengar has Levitate in this game. I guess we're going to find out. It does. <laughs> Let's try to run. Perfect. <laughs> uh, I mean, that is so true with the Choice Band, but I was about to say, it looks like I hit a trainer. Clefairy. You can use follow me all you want, my friend. We're running a little bit low on fire. Okay. So we're about to go to the last floor here. Okay. I'm really struggling with my item management here, gang. Not entirely sure what to do. I might be able to swap an item. Let me give this to Metagross for now. Sure. And I'll give you the Petch Berry. Okay. Mmm, no. <laughs> yeah, I really, I just wanted to get the Petra Berry off of Metagross because Metagross can't be poisoned anyway. Um, ooh, okay. I did not see that bike there. But that is okay. Hitmonlee is pretty frail. I was about to say, I thought one Aerial Ace might do the trick. Aerial Ace is just so nice that it doesn't miss. Um, all right, so we're here at the top. Here is our last floor that we have to clear for this time through. Um, let's just run here. Perfect. Uh, we have a... Oh, wow. That was the quickest clear of all time. <sighs> I've reached the summit of the Battle Pyramid. Oh, it's so great. There it is. There it is, folks. Let the name SCG be known. Gosh, I love it. So great. Okay. A slight problem, yes. 
The battle bag cannot hold all your items. Please pick the items you'll keep in the battle bag and with your Pokemon. Okay, this is interesting. I've never had to deal with this before. Let me look at the held items. Um, I want to take that. Oh, wait, hold up. Okay. So now I have to lead, I have to toss something. I'm going to toss this choice band. I'm not going to use it. I don't like it. I understand that it's good, but I'm not going to use it. Um, oh, I might get rid of the fluffy tails. It's just so nice to have the berries. Um, and the berries can kind of help me alleviate status problems anyway. I guess I could toss the cherry berries. Um, oh, very interesting. Alright, so now I get to I get to pick the held items. Okay, we're gonna take that shell bell, absolutely. Um Okay, the bag's still full. Alright. I hate this. This can cure any status. I'm not getting rid of the long berry. Um I think I'm gonna get rid of the fluffy tails. Hmm. <laughs> but this could also come in crazy handy. Guys, I'm at a loss here, man. Um, I tell you what. I'm actually going to toss those Petcha Berries. Yes. Because, like I said, that poison status I don't think is going to be as crazy. Okay, we have all the held items and we have all the battle bag items, so yeah, we're we're good. Okay, perfect. All right, so now he'll finally give us our battle points. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, excuse me. All right, gang. So here's what we're gonna do. This is something that I was going to employ in the battle palace we're gonna do a save state here so that way if we lose on this attempt we can still start at the beginning of the third time through and what this does i'm not going to use a save state like right before the frontier brain for example because that feels a little too much like cheating this will just take away, like, the tediousness of returning back to this point, but still give us that challenge of having to do it that third time through. Um, so I think that is a pretty good compromise. So I'm going to do a save state right here. Perfect. Um, so now... Well, let's test it. I can start talking to this guy, but if I load my save state, it takes me right back there. Okay. So we, I can make it. Yes, thank you. All right, folks. It's time. We are absolutely going to do our third time through the battle palace. Not battle palace, battle pyramid. And hopefully, we can defeat the Frontier Brain and get our final silver symbol. I would absolutely love to save the game. You know I love saving the game. Anyone who's watched me before. All right, so as you know, we still have our battle bag. Uh, we still have a lot of stuff to use for the battle bag. Um, all right. Here we are. Let's do a little item maintenance. So we have our shell bell. We're gonna give that to somebody. How about we give this to, uh, ba, ba, ba. we'll give it to Stevie, because he usually has it. And remember, this is our last time through, so we are not really gonna be taking any of this stuff with us. So. 
if I'm on that seventh floor and I'm kind of struggling, I just I'm just gonna use I'm gonna empty the clip, so to speak. Um, but let's let's see what we got going on here first. Um, if I am correct, and we're gonna have a bunch of Pokemon trying to burn us, maybe we'll have some fire Pokemon um, that Starmie can deal with. Let's see. Yes, here is Vulpix. Um, I'm just going to use a Thunderbolt because I feel like that should still take it out. And it does. Wonderful. Um, and a battle. Well, I just want to make sure it is our third time through. Yes, it is. At the end of our 21st floor, I'm told. Um, mine in! Ugh! The worst possible Pokemon. We have had problems with Minins before. But let's see what happens. Arrow tanks a Thunderbolt decently. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> Already not off to an incredible start. Um, but we have plenty of Hyper Potions for now. So let's go ahead and use them. All right, let's see. Ah, McCargo. You can just take a Surf to the face, but you're gonna try to waste some of our Surfs with Protect, I see. There we go. So almost assuredly, we're gonna be met with some Rost Berries on the floor to help deal with any potential burns. Um, and at this point, as you can see, the trainers are a little better. At this point, if I can avoid trainers as much as possible, um, just because I just want to get, I just want to get to the frontier brain in as good of shape as possible. Um, There we go. Perfect. And something I might want to do... No, I'm okay. We'll keep Harry in front. Hyper push and lovely. Excuse me. Do, do, dip, do, 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 do. Um... You know what? I was about to say, if a Vulpix burns Starmie, that's actually not terrible. Because you don't have the step effect with burn, and also burn, uh, only lowers attack. And Starmie's attack is ne never used. Um, so I'm not too bothered by that. However, if I really want to, I can always swap Starmie out and utilize its natural cure ability. Um, I am a little upset that I'm hitting all these trainers, but what can you do? Might see Megahorn. Okay. Wow. Alright, Swift, I'll take that any time of day. Great. Really just did not want to see Megahorn. Oof. Dodge that. Let's go up. X attack. Um, I understand that X items are useful. I have just never been one to use them. Um, so I am not terribly fussed about that. Um, yeah, we can do this in one Thunderbolt. Great. I will use a Hyper here. Nine Tails. Perfect. And if I can leave this burn on Starmie, again, I don't hate it. Oh my gosh! Um, because now Starmie can't get another status on it. 
not to mention the fact that I'm gonna swap it a Metagross here. Um, I can always get rid of it fairly easily with Natural Cure if I really need to. So that's the strategy there. I might need some of those Brick Breaks later. We do have some Lepa Berries, so I'm in pretty, pretty good shape in terms of PowerPoint um, replenishing. Okay, there's that Rost Berry. Um, I am going to toss you. I'll pick up the Rost Berry. The Rost Berries taste like Rost Berries. Oh yeah, I swapped out, how about that? And I'll, I'll remember that I have those Lepas and Ether in my back pocket. And I'll kind of cut my way through some of these wild Pokemon. Okay, that is fine. Ugh. I love how big and blue those tiles are. So that you can just see them real easy. But I am having a hard time right now. I believe this is only our second floor, if I'm not mistaken. Hi. I remember seeing you earlier. Okay. My goodness gracious, guys. I do declare. I must just really be missing it. There it is. I'll see it. What are you? A lumberry. I'm really glad I went ahead and took a second to pick that up. Oh, baby. That is nice. That's what we needed. We needed a quick floor. That's great. All right. We're on floor four here. All right. Oh, hello. <laughs> and a double battle it is. Um, this guy said something about a belly drum, which is not something I like to hear. Um, Ninjask can be tough because it's always going to use like those speed boost swords dance kind of combinations. And there's that swords dance. Um, Aerial Ace, I think, should be good for a one shot on a Ninjask, um, but we'll 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 see about that. Would have loved to see a one shot there, but that's okay. Because Gorbis could have Icy Wind. Great, love that. Kind of takes away that risk from the swords dance. Amnesia. Um, so that's kind of going to help this Gorbis set up a little bit, but that is no big deal for us because we are cooking. All right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Fine, then. All right, there we go. At least that wasn't too punishing. Spoke too soon. I am just getting bombarded right now. Lucky for us, one psychic should be good to take out an Arbok. That's why Harry's such a good lead. Can really uh, hit a lot of different things super effectively. Alright, so I... Okay, I was about to say, I am I softlocked right now? <laughs> I forgot that the people kind of move around. Alright, Metacham is interesting. Let's see if I can escape. Great. Um, if I'm going to see Metacham... 
I'll have arrow in front. All right, you guys, you got to move out of my way. Thank you. Because arrow can also make quick work of these nine tails with earthquake. So that's really nice. Another hyper. So guys, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, focus band. That could really come in handy. I'm going to toss up the Rost Berry for now. Because if I really need that, we do have a Lumberry. And Focus Band is great. Um, because a hold item that occasionally prevents, prevents fainting, I'm actually going to give that to Harry Jr., who is our frailest Pokemon. Um, so that could really work in our, really work in our favor. Um... Uh, what are you saying, Lunaxis? Okay. We're on to the next floor. Floor five. Oh. Hello, everyone. I thought that might happen. It was my fault for running. Primeape and Zangoose, I don't hate. Um, Primeape can definitely be a one-shot with Psychic. What I'm going to do here is maybe hopefully get a burn on that Zangoose. There we go. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. We'll be fine. We'll be fine there. Spread out some of those power points a little bit. All right, so let's keep rolling along here. Again, we're on the fifth floor. Mm. Mm. Okay, floor six. We have two more floors to clear, and then we will be to the Frontier Brain. Um, I actually need to check. I don't know. Oh, I did not think he was going to run into us. I need to check to see if um, we can use our bag in battle. Looks like we can, so that is really good. Um, all right, here, yes, we'll do flamethrower into earthquake because that will, it will be super effective on him now. Mm. So arrow has received a choice band. I don't know if Arrow had an item because we had the Shell Bell and Focus Band. Um, I'm going to take that Choice Band off because, again, I don't like that. I don't love having that on. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. And, like, again, anyone watching this who is just like, dude, use the choice band. I understand that the choice band can be good, but I am too afraid to use it. <laughs> I just am. Um, okay, so here really all we have to do, um, so we walked directly into a double battle, but all we have to do here is we need to survive long enough to make it to the end of this floor to get to the Frontier Brain. Here, we could be in some weird shape. I'm actually going to swap into Metagross here in case Blastoise has any ice moves. Um, and we're going to use Thunderbolt on that Blastoise. This could be pretty tough. These are good Pokemon right here. Here on the seventh floor, you're going to see some tough, some tough stuff. That was a good switch. We double resist that. Lovely. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hydro pump, not as good. But we still live. My guess is he has a shell bell. He does. So we'll definitely take out Blastoise. Um, hopefully we are um, faster than Espeon with Metagross here, but even if it hits us with like a Psychic, we'll, we'll obviously live that. Okay, Calm Mind, I don't mind. I do not mind that. Scenarios exactly like this are why we carry Shadow Ball on Metagross. And that's a one-shot, baby. Perfect. All right, all right, all right. A little spooky, a little spooky. Use a hyper. Now I'm gonna walk slowly through here. Oops, that's not what I wanted. See if an aerial ace can knock this out. It can, perfect. So we're gonna walk slowly through here uh, because I don't want to like accidentally step on that blue tile too soon before I am ready for the frontier brain. Should we be fortunate enough to find it soon? And getting kind of a free one-shot on these Metachams is really nice. All right. So I kind of know where I am. So I'm just going to kind of sweep. Okay, folks. Let's heal up the squad. Uh, I'm actually going to Ether on Thunderbolt. Um, as far as I know, oops, it's the wrong tab. As far as I know, Harry Jr. is going to be our best lead. And it is kind of silly, but I am going to use a Hyper Potion on Salamence just to kind of top that off. I'm going to give Salamence a Lumberry. And I really like that Starmie has the Focus Band to hopefully keep it alive for a little bit longer. The thing that I love the most is that we have some revives and max revives. We can actually use these in our battle against the Frontier Brain. So that's really good. So now we're going to step on this here tile. Our team is looking mighty fine. We are looking ready to deal with this. At least as ready as we're going to be. Let's do it. So we step up. What does this guy have to say? It is a delight to see you here. Unfortunately, you were second by a mere fraction of time. Our chief has already conquered the pyramid ahead of you. However, my young explorer, you are a trainer. Assert your power and take the glory of the pinnacle from our chief. <sighs> Ladies and gents, here he is. Oh. Young adventurer, wouldn't you agree that explorations are the grandest of adventures? So this is Brendan. He is the Pyramid King. The Pyramid Chief, if you will. Um, oh, it's Brandon. Sorry, I was saying Brendan. Um, <laughs> so much, I, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Brandon is the Pyramid King, and he is here at the Pinnacle, and we need to take our rightful place from him. And we're going to do it. We're going to do our very best. And I am excited. This is our last one. Let's see if we can get it. Ah! Yes, you do know him from the show. Mm. This music still slaps just as hard. All right. One thing you're going to notice about Pyramid King Brandon is that he has all three Regis. That is his team. Regirock, Regice, Registeel. And 
Parry's not going to be great against the other two, so that's why we definitely want to start against Regirock with our Starmie. Hopefully get some good Surf's off. Hopefully this doesn't kill us. Oh, man. It holds on. Does it have Sturdy? I really hope Harry can hold on here, maybe with a Focus Band. Oh. Oh. We're eating it. We are eating it. Um, okay, so anything else here for Harry is kind of gravy. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get some status on this guy. We'll see if I can get a Paralysis with Thunderbolt. Um, I don't know if Regice has any, like, setup. Okay, Thunder. That's fine. Starmie, you did what you needed to do. You did great. Okay. Focus Band doesn't pop, but that's all right. Um, I, I will not... I'm going to do my very best to not let this be like Yu-Gi-Oh. Stevie is a very good counter to Regice. We're going to resist any ice moves. Um... And we have this here. Ooh, Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash would do more damage, but Brick Break is gonna be is definitely gonna hit. Um. Oh baby. I don't know what to do. Both are super effective. I'm gonna do Meteor Mash. Let's risk it. Okay, good. <laughs> I really didn't want it to miss. Oh yeah. Guys, we're we're sitting pretty right now. We are sitting pretty. Oh, all right. Meteor Mash will not be effective against Registeel, but Brick Break still will. All right. I was hoping that would do half, but we'll see what we can do. All right, all right. I'm hopeful Stevie can live this. It's not Stab. Oh, my gosh, guys. Guys. Does Registeel have a Leftovers? It does... So it's looking like two more turns, but I think... Brody, I think you're right. I think we ate. I think we ate here. I think we cooked here. Um, let's see. All right. Okay, I was like, unless this is a crit, we should eat this. Um, all right, it's going to get its leftovers turn. And then... Ladies and gentlemen, we have defeated the Pyramid King Brandon. First, we gotta get that little bit of health from the Shell Bell. And there it is. There it is, folks. You've done great. You've worked hard for this. Isn't that true? Ha ha ha. Grand it was. Grand. Yes, indeed. Well done. You've earned recognition, your Frontier Pass, please. So we have earned the Brave Symbol. Thank you, Lunaxis, from Pyramid King Brandon. Young Explorer, I look forward to our next meeting. You see, he is honorable, not like Spencer, not like that old man. <sighs> You've defeated the Pyramid King Brandon. Oh, uh, that is fine. Okay, battle bag. What'll I get rid of? I'll toss you, I don't like you. Um, Emerald is pretty much done. I'd still, uh, yes, we're going to take that, and we're going to take the Shell Bell. Great. Oh. Um. Oh, I forgot this. Oh, yeah, I'll throw away the focus band. It's fine. Mmm. Mmm. That is insane, guys. That is truly crazy. So, hold on, let's save the game here. I am going to do one more thing this stream. Um, we're going to pop down here. Maybe not down there. Maybe over this way. The top of the island. Um, yes. 18 eps. Oh, wow. Ah! Oh. I forgot about this little Hall of Fame area. Oh, Battle Tower doubles. Okay, so that's like Battle Tower. And what is this? Oh, the Battle Palace. 
in the Battle Arena, Battle Pyramid. See, this is where you can really keep track of all of your progress here in the Battle Frontier. That had three of the facilities. This has all Battle Tower stuff. And then here is going to have the other three facilities. Our Factory Wind Streak, our Pike Wind Streak, and then our Dome. Oh, really cool. And a nice, like, exclusive track here. Really feels like a Hall of Fame. This is so cool. I forgot this was here. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I owe you a Ziggy battle. Where did I say I was going to do that? I was going to use Ziggy somewhere. Um, yes, this is where I wanted to go. <laughs> IDK. <laughs> Um, alright, well, let me, oh, we can, like, re-challenge a gym leader or something with Ziggy. Um, yes, I wanted, I want to pick up this Cyndaquil doll. I absolutely have chosen the Cyndaquil doll with my battle points. Um, alright, so let's see. Um, let's fly. Oops, not yet. Uh, all right. Ah, we can battle Wally. Oh, we're gonna battle Watson. That's what we're gonna do. Um. So, folks, that pretty much wraps up the battle frontier for us. Um, you know, if I ever feel like I really want to, we can try to get some gold symbols, but I don't foresee that. I'm really happy with this squad here. We've got Starmie, we've got Arrow, we've got Stevie. Oh. And see, those special attacks did not kill me, like people presumed. Um, such a great squad. There they are. All seven silver symbols. We have Battle Pyramid's Brave symbol, Battle Factory's Knowledge symbol, Battle Palace's Spirit symbol, Battle Tower's Ability symbol, the Battle Dome's Tactics Symbol, the Battle Arena's Gut Symbol, and the Battle Pike's Lux Symbol. We got them all. Very proud. I really enjoyed this. This has been really fun. Um, so, uh, yes, we cannot forget the first team. You are so right, Brody. Um, and that is why we are going to do one more battle here today against our friend Watson. And we're going to pick up some of those Pokemon. Uh, yes. So let's move our friend Harry. And let's pick up... Oh, we've got to pick up our starter Piccolo. We'll grab our friend Arrow. And we'll get Guzzle, the Torkoal. And then let's move Metagross. And we'll grab James, the Chimeco. I'll leave Agron behind so we can have Ziggy. That'll be fine. All right. So let's see. Um, if we're fighting Watson, we'll have Ziggy out front, of course. Uh, but I'll have Piccolo with him. So let's pop in here. First of all, we're gonna save this. We're gonna save this bad boy. Alright. Oops. I cannot believe we've done this, guys. This is incredible. Um, so let's give Watson a try. Ha! Here at last! And Watson's gonna have a... He's gonna have a Pokemon in reserve. Mareep is his new Pokemon. Oh! How lovely. I love Mareep. Oh, and they're only at level 36. Oh, this is great. Um, all right, we are just going to try to kill Electrode to make sure that it does not explode. Because I want to see Ziggy survive for one kill. Uh-oh. Okay, great. Ooh, they're going to try to rain dance Thunder me. 
How about that? Please knock it out. Great. Good job, Ziggy. There you go, Brody. Ziggy got a kill. That's lovely. Okay. <laughs> Ziggy! All right, so we're definitely gonna catch some thunders here, but that's okay. We are definitely way over their level, so we're gonna be fine. Can we lower that defense? Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Oh, salute you. Salute you. Um, <laughs> uh, we're actually going to bring Harry in, just against all common sense, just so we can utilize some of that rain. Uh, but maybe not, because we're both paralyzed. Um, there you go, Piccolo. Yes, Magneton and Etric. It's like his team is worse now. Oh, Manetric protects. Interesting. Interesting choice. Oh, they double protect. That's insane. All right. It's about to say that is not what I would have used Thunder on, Frendo. I was thinking Rain Boost might knock out both, but it just got close. Am I seeing another double protect? So weird. Oh, uh, yes, Brody. I will answer your question momentarily. Let's see. Oh, Manetric hangs on by a sliver. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Wow, a full restore. He is really just not wanting to go down. There we go. A critical hit seals it. Okay, Brody. So, to answer your question, um, we're actually going to have one more episode of Emerald. It's not going to be a Battle Frontier episode. It's actually going to be a bonus episode of regular Emerald, um, which I'm really excited about. But first, I, while I say this, I'm going to pop up here. Um... So we just have literally one more episode of Emerald, which I'm excited about. Um, so that'll be fun. But after that, because obviously that's very that's very short-lived, very short-lived episode. Um, we're going to get into Pokemon Platinum. It's going to be Pokemon Platinum, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is also going to close up shop here in the next week or two as well. Um... So that extra game I'll keep a secret. If I haven't said I've probably said it on stream before, but I'm not going to say it today. I don't know why. Um, so here I'm actually going to grab our friend Cloud. Oops. I'll swap out Altaria for now. Um, I remember, Brody, I did not forget. Forget, I promise you. You, no, you get to name the starter. Hi, Tainro! Thank you for joining us. We're actually uh, kind of in closing here, but uh, we just got every symbol in the Battle Frontier. We got our Pyramid symbol today. Um, so I highly recommend you go back and check that out. Sorry. Um, but uh, we got all of our Battle Frontier symbols. I know! It's crazy. But, Brody, you get to pick the name of the starter. Um, I want to pick the starter. <laughs> you get to pick the name. I promise you the name. Um, um, I know. After what I did to your kids, I'm sorry. So, first of all, we're going to play some music. Perfect. Um, oh, yes. I need to... Let me take down that. Oh, no. Put away... We'll put you away. Yes. 
All right. Yes. So now we're going to take ourselves, oh, not our blue brick, our doll, yes. We're going to take ourselves our newly acquired Cyndaquil doll from the Battle Frontier. It will be our trophy in our secret base. Ugh. How glorious. Well, folks, um, this is not the end of the series, Tainer. I was just saying, we have one episode left of regular Emerald. This will close our Battle Frontier series, but we're going to do one more episode of Emerald. Um, and then after that, we're going to get into Pokemon Platinum, um, which I'm super excited about. But guys, this has been so great. Thank you for going on this Battle Frontier journey with me. I really don't know. I really don't think at all we will do this again with the other games that have a Battle Frontier. I just really enjoy the, uh, Emerald's Battle Frontier. Um, oh, dude, thank you so much. I am so happy you're excited for Gen 4. I am too. I Platinum is one of my favorite games. Like, Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, literally, those are my three favorite Pokemon games. So, um, I'm really, really, really excited. It's going to be great. Um, and it's just things just are, are, just keep rolling, keep growing. I'm excited to continue my quest of sharing my joy and sharing my favorite video games with you and you all. Um, with that, for today, I will sign off and I will see you all very soon. Peace, kids.